Hey everybody, welcome back to Pajama Crafts where I do crafts in my pajamas. Um, today is super exciting because I am doing a collab with April from April Adair Shares. If you haven't been over to her channel, make sure you check it, check it out in the link below. We decided to do a collab. Um, it was honestly, it was a while back and I feel bad, but she has been so sweet um, and patient with me while I was trying to figure out how to get everything done. It's been a little bit difficult for me to upload lately, um, just having uh, both the kids home for the summer while well, Koi's out of school and it's just a little bit of adjusting for me to do um, and I have I'm trying to figure out how to get everything done and also videos so thank you for your patience with me too and especially April uh, with this collab um, but since it has taken me so long to get my project done um, I've had quite a bit of time to get to know April and she is just the sweetest person ever but she also does some really amazing DIYs on her channel so definitely make sure to go check her out. I'll have her channel link below. Um, and then what we wanted to do for our collab was we just decided to get something from the thrift shop. Um, I did Goodwill and I'm not sure if she did too or, um, or if she did like a different, different thrift shop but we just decided to um, find something under ten dollars that we could do a diy with or like a makeover or anything like that so i know hers is gonna be amazing she told me a little bit about it already so make sure you do go check it out after you um, watch this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to her channel as well I really appreciate all the support that you guys give me on my channel and for being so patient with me um, since I'm not able to upload on a schedule right now. So just subscribe to my channel, like this video if you like it, and share it with your friends and family if you think they'd like it too. And go over to April's channel, show her some love, like and share her videos, and subscribe to her channel too. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So I found this adorable little shelf at Goodwill. It was $7.99 originally looked like this. Um, so I just went ahead and cleaned it and then I'm taking some black matte apple barrel paint and just covering the whole thing. I wasn't too worried about doing this exactly like you're supposed to do with furniture. I don't know a lot about remaking furniture, um, but it's just going to have a few knickknacks sitting on it in my baby girl's room. Um, so I just wanted to make it look a little bit girly and shabby chic, um, but I wanted an even coat of paint, like a darker color, like the black to cover the whole thing. I did two coats um, and I just covered it so I would have an even um, kind of color and surface to paint the white onto. And then I also wanted to be able to sand it down and get some of the darker colors showing through so that it looked a little bit older, more rustic and vintage and all of that good stuff. It was a little bit tedious just getting in every single one of those um, corners and all of that without any paint pooling up. I had to be really detailed and careful, um, but I did go ahead and do two coats and then I did the Waverly chalk paint and that was in the color plaster, I believe. And I also had to do two coats of the white paint. Now, like I said, it's just gonna be some little knickknacks sitting on this shelf, but if I want to, I can always add um, a coat over the top of the paint like to seal everything in, but I wasn't too worried about it at the moment. And I just really wanted to get this video up because I know it's been a while, um, but I do have a, a, like a clear coat varnish that can go over chalk paint um, and it looks really nice and not shiny or anything. And I got that at Hobby Lobby um, so there are some good things that you can seal this with um, but I just wasn't really um, I just really wanted to get it done and I might still add that later but I really like the finished look and I'm not too worried about it getting real scratched or anything like that because it's gonna be sitting high up on the wall um, with just some little knickknacks and I think if it does get a little bit scratched it'll just add a little more character because I do distress this quite a bit. So once the paint was dry um, 
when I was removing the shelf from the paper and it had four coats of paint so it was really stuck to the newspapers so I just went ahead and flipped it over outside and took my electric sander to it to get all of that paper off of the back that was stuck on there and then I flipped it back over and I just did quite a bit of distressing all over the piece and then I just paid really close attention to the edges and things like that uh, did a little more distressing um, on the edges and then I really liked how the black showed through a little bit it almost looks kind of gray when it's showing through the white and then also some of that pink that was originally on the piece was showing through too and I actually really loved that I thought it was so cute and made it look even more shabby chic and girly which I think is gonna be just so cute for her room um, even though she doesn't have her own room yet but hopefully we'll be moving soon and she will <laughs> have her own room because I have too much stuff to put in there already but she's still sleeping in our room right now um, but she um, I do have like little knickknacks and stuff for her and so I did go ahead and kind of I put it on one of the walls in our house and put some of her little knickknacks and things some of them my great grandma painted a long time ago so um, I just think it's gonna be so cute and so special for her room but I just wanted to give you an idea of what it would look like too and then um i also have a little video of brie at the end of this video um just of her kind of discovering grass it's so cute so watch to the end if you want to see that and then also don't forget to go um watch april's video and subscribe to her channel i know it's going to be awesome um but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like I said, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Did you find some grass? What is that? Feel fun, doesn't it? Oh, <laughs> what are you doing?